yeah hello there and welcome back and today we'll be starting a new project and we will be building a calculator so it will be a very interesting project and you'll learn a lot of things in this project we'll be building a calculator in our kotlin so let's go and start and first of all we'll be starting our building a new project and designing our calculator ui so let's start a new project and uh, let's select the empty activity click on next and let's give our application name as a calculator and just make sure you select the language as a Kotlin and uh, that should be everything fine and just the package name give a unique name by now you should be familiar with all of this and just click on finish so that should start a new project for us and uh, let us directly go and start building for our UI so let's just wait for the synchronization to build up and after that we'll go to our uh let's go to the app section okay let let's wait for the config uh, build to finish so it's still synchronizing and you can see the process don't worry about the build field over here there is still process going on so it's uh building up and everything looks fine and the next step is let's go to the layout and uh, let us remove this one the text that we have and uh let us go to the okay let us search for the card view so we'll be using a card view so you'll be learning about the card view also so let's drag and drop it over here and we need to add a reference we need a dependency which is a Android X card view so let's just click on OK and uh, that should add a card view for us and if you go to the gradle view over here you can see that will be added over somewhere here let's see here the card view is added over here and uh, let's go back and after you add the card view you can see the attributes is uh, not showing up and what we can do is we can try to uh, clean the project and sometimes when you clean it and reopen it should be sometimes it's working but most of the time it's not working so we can still kind of see the attribute so what we can do is we can uh, restart the application so i'll just close uh, everything for now exit and uh, we will restart the application again so let us go to our card view over here and let us make a constraint and you can select the constraint of it from here and uh, what we'll do is we will just uh, click on this button which will uh, enter info constraint just click on this one and we will just select the eight from here and uh, eight and uh, eight so what we'll do is uh, the height let's uh, uh, let us give as uh, for now let us give as uh, 200 pp for now sorry 200 dp and uh, let's add uh, go to the layout over here and add a constraint layout inside this one and uh, inside this constraint layout we will add a uh, edit text uh, so select go to text and add a plain text just drag and drop it over here and uh, let let us constrain it and uh, let's constrain to the right to and zero and uh, let's change the width and what i will do is we need to uh, remove the text from here and uh, let's give an id so we will say e txt this should be result and uh, let's change some of the more option and let's give a height let's give a height of uh, 80 dp and uh, let's uh, let's put some of the background i think let's go down over here and a uh, style compact um, text view okay let's not select the text let's put as a single single line and uh, let's go to the background and we can search from here PSK uh, background and uh, background let us uh, color uh, so let's go to the Android and 
and uh, we can put a background color light or else what we can also do is we can go to the rest and values and let us create a color so let's create a color for us and uh, we say as a color and color name white let's give a white and uh, let's say let's put the hexadecimal code for a white it should be f f f f three four five six time that should give us a white color so let's go back to the main activity and for the background color let's choose our own color from color and we have a white color so just select this one and we should have a white color and uh, let's uh, let's close this one and let's give a height so height just now we have either 80 so let's uh, put as uh, 50 i think that should be enough and uh, the constraint let's uh, match height match the okay match the constraint for this one the card view let's uh, change the height layout to wrap the content so that should wrap the content and uh okay so let's clear up everything and the next thing is uh, for the card view let's give some design and uh, for that i will go to the card radius over here and i will give a 8 dp and uh, um, elevated, uh, card elevated, let's give as a 2dp. And uh, compact padding, let's enable this. And the uh, card prevent corner overlap, just click on true. And uh, that should uh, look better. And uh, for the card view, let's, uh, let's give a background. So let's give a background for a uh, card background color. And uh, let's give some Android color we can select from here. And uh, let's give uh, something like uh, blue, dark blue. And if you try to run the application for now, if you run the application, you can see we have a nice round shape uh, uh, with a radius of uh, 8 dp. So this should be our result. And we have a edit text over here. So that's uh, looking fine. And the next step is to design our button. Also, if you go to the hard view, we are not seeing any background color. I think just, we just remove this one for now. And uh, maybe later we change uh, some of the properties over here. And the next step is uh, we will add uh, one, one more uh, card view. Just go over here. And uh, let's search from here. Search from the quality as a card view. And just drag and drop inside over here and uh, we will constrain it and uh, the constraint let's put to below the this card view and uh, let's say as uh, 16 and uh, the height let's uh, let us constrain it to the bottom too and uh, let's say as a 16 and the height let's change to uh, match constraint so that will wrap all of the constraint and uh, next step is to change all of our card radius property let's change to 8dp and uh, padding a uh, card card elevated so let's select to 2dp and uh, let's take this true and true and uh, next step let's give an id so this is uh, let's give an id for our card view and let's say card view underscore we say as a header and uh, yes and this one let's say as a card view as a line and we need to add our button over here so let's uh, drag drag what button over here okay i think we need to remove this button for now what we need to do is we need to add a layout so let's add a constraint layout and inside this constraint layout we will add our button 